Okay, I think I'm live. Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Ray Miller. What you're seeing right here is a full service um, uh, mini fridge wrap. So basically, um, this is a cherry bundy, and we're just going to do one for now and then several in the future. But they gave us uh, the design and everything. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> I left my speakers going. <laughs> You're always talking and everything. Uh, so, so the first thing we do is uh, we tell the customer what, do you, uh, what kind of mini fridge you're looking for. So this is actually a home mini fridge, and I'll put the description down below uh, with the links and everything. So this holds about 15, 115 can, and uh, so we're just going to wrap the top and the sides, and then we're going to put a white cutout here. So note on the white cutout, uh, the vinyl, like the like the little logos, needs to be more than a half an inch big. Um, for the cutter to cut, so um, we can't use any trademark little circle R's or M, uh, M or TM's on there because it's really small. So anything half inch or bigger, it's great. So we can do a white cutout here. Normally, sometimes we do a, a regular uh, printout. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing a regular printout over here. I have another project coming on doing this way. But this is an, on an air release channel, uh, matte sheen on this one. And it's going to show you demonstrations of what we're going to normally do. So if you're looking for something like this, I need to know what kind of mini fridge you want. doesn't matter what kind of mini fridge. Anything from a 1.6 cubic mini fridge and higher. And actually a fridge too. The door off, so it's make it a lot easier to install it and everything. And before we, uh, I clean or er, before we install this, I actually cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and water. Interesting. This has a little hook on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, let's improvise. I've done this one before. Yeah, it does have a little, little hook on it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, again, not totally with it today. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol and water, and I cleaned it real good with rubbing and uh, with the lint free rag and everything. And let's move this a little further. I usually take the doorknob off. So, the reason why I do these videos so, if you don't want the full service and you just want the wrap itself, and, and you're more than happy to do it, wrap it, you can. So, on these right here, you can't really see it. These dots are really, really small for me. Uh, I put like little markers right here that indicate the corners of the edge. So when I'm installing it, I know exactly where it's going to land. And I actually, actually feel I aim for the corner of, I can feel my thumb on, and I'm aiming for the corner where the dots are at. And so when I'm doing like a full serve or a, Full production on this stuff. Oh, speaking of which, so what I do is I pre-cut everything in the middle of the of the unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on. Usually it's a one inch uh, tack on. So I put it right here, and I can feel it here and here. And I put my hand down, and I tack it on. Simple as that. So it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. If I have to go somewhere. It's just going to go, I can lift this up, move it right back down. So right now I'm kind of pulling it taunt and I can reposition re it. So it's off just like a one eighth inch over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up and put it down. Okay. Now it is perfect. So it should line up perfectly because these lines right here need to go perfect right here and here. Okay. I just like to double check everything. Okay. 
And this design is pretty easy, so um, if I'm off a little bit, that's no big deal. But I like to be, I hate to say anal, <laughs> about where it needs to be. Okay, so this is on one of my squeegees that we designed. You can actually see some of the, the lines up right over here. Um, so I'm going to use this, the squeegee and a knife. So hopefully I don't get in your way. I'm going to lift up the backing right here. And I'm just going to let it set it down straight. Then I'm going to use a squeegee. And if you get a little air bubbles in it, it's not a big deal. Double check everything. Oh, these things are not lined up, that's why. Now it's lined up. Okay. Now let's see. Let's get a little closer for you guys to see these. Let's see how I work. Again, if you want something like this, let me know. You can contact me at rmaps at gmail.com. Email me or uh, phone call me at 208-696-1180. Uh, you can also do a video call too. Okay, so now hopefully it's not to in the bright light what I have is right here is these arrows so it, it, we design and print these or make these I'm sorry let me get to straighten out a little bit more and you can see the arrows right here I just picked a, the the clear crystal I just had it in my hand so if you just follow the arrows uh, you have a lot less chances of getting air bubbles in it If you do mess up, you just pull it off and put it right back down. And then when I get done with this uh, little project, and every one I take pictures, I do all the way through, you know, a 360 picture all the way around. And also I use an app called uh, Bonjuro. There we go. And what that does, the Bonjour is a video um, email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email the client a video showing it's all done. Uh, tell me what you think. If you see anything that's not correct or whatever, uh, let me know. I can fix it then and there. And then we're going to mail it out to you guys. So on the full service, if you go to the full service uh, on the website, you'll see um, examples. Uh, this is 115 can, how much it cost. Also, uh, stage one, stage two. Stage one is based. And also, I'm going to cut down below here. You don't need to see this. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, okay. Okay. And it's like I said in all the videos, the back is just as important as the front because you never know if it's going to be against the glass window or right in front. And as you can see all the way around. So I'm just kind of cutting the back to make it look pretty. Um, so if you're a business and if you want a, a display like this, let me know. Like I said. We do a lot of mini fridges, any kind of sizes, any kind of what designs you want. Um, if it's your own logo, if it's like a 
like a Coca-Cola or something that's copyrighted, uh, I will definitely need a copyrighted uh, okay to print and to use the logo to print on. Okay. So nearly done, and all I have to do next is the, the door. That's right, hey, do the door too. Now, uh, at the very end, I'm going to add a little heat to the heat around the edges and everything. It just sinks it in a little bit more and activates the glue. Then, on the shipping, um, we're going to use the foam board. Uh, Usually, if it's just uh, uh, one unit or if the units ship to one place, uh, we're going to use the foam board. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about after I get done cutting this. Do you want a heat gun? Uh, no, I'll do that after the video. Okay. So, on the foam board, we use this right here. I'm actually going to back up a little bit. This is actually um, insulation, but it's really hard and, and lightweight, so it's one inch. And so what we do is we put this back in the box, and then we wrap this uh, around the box, and it's a lot less chance of getting damaged. So we, that's a little, little um, things that we do to assure that is uh, shipped right. But also, there's every once in a great while that the, they just destroy the box and the foam board and everything. So uh, when you get this subject right here, definitely uh, if it looks damaged in any way, even if it isn't, I would open it up, see it, and, and make sure the, the, the shipping company is still there and say, hey, it's not going to fly. I'll take it back. And then uh, we'll work on that later. But uh, if they just drop it off and leave it, and if it's damaged, it's more or less yours. And there's nothing you can do about that. Okay. Now let's put the door back on. Now on the website... We have choices, so um, to kind of give people, if you want to wrap this unit, you know, this frame right here, or if you want to, to have a, a printed logo or something right there, it, there's always fine tuning it. So if you go on the website, and I kind of, I made a checklist if you what you want, and then we can fine tune the cost of what you want. So I already pre-measured this, so it's not uh, killing a lot of time. So you can kind of see a little bit better. Okay. So this is actually regular vinyl, cut out vinyl. I, I found out using white, it's so much cleaner. But people can actually see the product behind it too. But we, we've used transparent or frosted frosted film before and it looks great. It's like a ghost uh, image. So I mean there's lots of different options you can choose from. Come on.
So what I'll do is I'll fix this one later. Just do a little repair on the print or the P. Alright, so that is that. So if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. And if you uh, want something like this, please let me know. We can actually, uh, like I said, print on any kind of mini fridge. I'm just kind of giving you the mini fridges that we've been working on on the website. Uh, we do have templates on the armwraps.com website. Uh, go to the bottom of the website and store, and you'll see templates there. And call and say, hey, I want the insignia 115 can. You can download it. Uh, the PDF file, but also uh, I try to do an AI files, Illustrator files and everything. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. So this is it. So it didn't take too long to do. Um, we, could, we could do several if you want to order just one, like this, this copy right here. It's doing one right one now. And then uh, we're going to do several more different kinds if you want. Kind of go from there. Kind of give me a game plan of what you want. So, all right. Uh, like again, if you've got any questions, 208-696-1180. Uh, email me at rmraps at gmail.com. Check out more stuff on rmraps.com website and kind of go from there. All right, thanks. Stay tuned. i got more stuff, more videos. And if this helps you out, give me a applaud. There's a little applaud button down below. And that just basically tips. Tips me and everything. Uh, other than that, have a good day. Peace be safe. and.